Hello my loving Tiffany Thinks family, welcome back to another Tea with Tiffany Thinks on a Tuesday. <laughs> I've got a green tea. I haven't filmed a Tea with Tiffany Thinks in a very long time and I just think it's nice for me to sit down. I asked you guys on Instagram and on my video, a couple of videos ago, to ask me some questions so that I can um, answer them here. With my videos, I feel very much, I'm going to the hospital, I'm in the car, I'm eating food. I don't, I don't really answer your questions. Also, I just wanna say thank you to all of you, um, just for saying such kind things in my last video about my hair and just, you're, you're all so, so sweet. So just wanna say thank you quickly. Um, I thought, a tea with Tiffany thinks is good because I just get to answer all of your questions. Might not be able to do it every Tuesday, but now and then. And I just think if you have anything you need to do, if you need to wash your makeup brushes, if you need to organise your cupboard, or if you're driving, you can just put me on the side and I can just talk yap 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 away. <laughs> I'm drinking a green tea. Um, I always like to know what you're doing when you're watching or listening to this. I have run out of peppermint tea, so it's green tea for me today. It's green tea caffeinated, I think it is. And so that's why I prefer peppermint tea over, well, I'm sure you can get green tea that's decaf. Cheers. Now, I asked on Instagram as well earlier today, I've also got questions in my bullet journal that I've, I've put down here a few months ago when I asked you for some questions. So I'll go through both Instagram and YouTube questions. Got loads of questions. Thank you all so much. I will kind of just pick random ones. I will do more of these Tea with Tiffany Thinks videos if you like. Um, let me know, just write down questions down below in this video as well. And then I, I guess the more questions I have, the more videos Tea with Tiffany thinks I can do because oh, I'll just keep answering all the questions that you have for me. Right, what I'll do is I'll go through the questions quite quickly because there's loads and you all know what I'm like. I can yap, 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 yap. And before you know it, I've done only three questions and it's a half an hour video. So I'll try and answer as much as I can. Um, what do you do to calm your mind? I read, I pray, I, I cry, if I need to, sometimes if my mind is doing a lot, I'll cry because after a good cry, I feel really calm. I'll go for a walk. Going for walks, especially where we live now, there's um, loads of kind of walking trails and there's just, it's just so lovely. I'm sorry about the lighting as well because the sun keeps coming in and out. I go for a nice walk depending on the weather and there's few options, few routes I can do. There's a short walk option. I hope the lighting's a little bit better. Yeah, I'll go on my little walks and I don't listen to anything. Before I used to listen to a podcast or listen to music, but now I just go. I just go for a little walk and I just clear my mind. I think about the things that I need to think about. I can't believe the sun's coming out. I should be on a walk right now, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of, I just find things to do. Um, I'll talk to my friends, I will, I get moments where I don't feel calm, but I think it's also accepting what's going on. I also like writing things down, whether it's a list or just how I'm feeling, um, that helps me. So tell me how you stay calm because I feel like I need more tips. <laughs> will you be taking a break from work for the next 12 weeks? Yes, I will, I will have to because with the chemo, the doctors have recommended with my job, it's very much I'm with people and um, I need to have a good mindset I can't be drowsy I can't be you know I have to, <laughs> I'm an optometrist so I'm working with people and I need to just take a little break but I will go back to work you know I before when I took a break before I was always worried about going back to work and I always thought oh I'm taking such a long time off will I be able will I be okay when I go back 
well, I, you know, you have this w worry. And I also was worried that I might not be able to get work again. And so um, that was playing on my mind. But now that I know what it's like to take a break and then to go back, it's absolutely fine. With optometry, there's um, ongoing studying that you just always have to do. And I'm enrolled into all of that. So even though I'm not working, I do a lot of studying, I do a lot of reading, and I always kind of, I'm on top of it with that and I always make sure I am on top of it because I also enjoy studying. So, loads of questions about this book. So I just posted on the Tiffany Thinks book club page. So I'm getting loads of questions about this book. Honestly, I am, um, if you're not following me on the Tiffany Thinks book club page, make sure you do so. I am shocked at this book. I know it's been out for a really long time. It's been in my pile of books that I need to read, but I just never got around to doing so. and. Last night I was up till 2am reading this book because I just wanted to kind of see how it ended. It was so good. It's a fantasy and I'm really not about that fantasy. Well, I thought I wasn't about that fantasy life. And the last fantasy book that I read was Harry Potter. And since then, I've not picked anything up, I don't think absolutely hooked. I love everything about this book and it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast but it's a little bit darker so I won't spoil spoiler. I'm sure all of you have read this book because I feel like everyone has. <laughs> What's it like living with stage four cancer? Ah, um, it is the most craziest feeling in the world. I can't, there's nothing that I can compare it to. It's so hard and even saying stage four cancer out loud, oh, it breaks my heart. I honestly feel, I don't think I'll ever not feel heartbroken about it. Um, living with it, I try, so hard to appreciate every single moment in my life, every memory that I make, I really treasure it. And even if it's as simple as going for a walk or having dinner with my darling or going to the garden center with Amma, um, seeing my friends, seeing my family, anything I do, even if I'm on my own and I just really try and appreciate, I really try and be grateful to be here today. Um, I've just sat here for a moment. Um, living with stage four cancer is hard. I know I come on here and um, it's really difficult. It's It just makes me think about all the times where bef life before cancer, I felt like I had a million, I thought I had so many problems in my life and I thought, I just, I had all these worries and all these, these problems and stress that I would take on myself and I was thinking oh I need to do this and I need to do that by this age and I, I put a lot of pressure on myself but when I got diagnosed with cancer especially living with stage 4 cancer it's like I have no problems in the world does that make any sense I don't know it's like all the problems that I was thinking about that I thought I had none of that matters that's what I've learned from all of this is that nothing in this world matters as much as your health and I know people say health is wealth and it genuinely is nothing in the world matters and that's kind of my point of view you might not feel the same as me but for me the problems that I had before cancer they, they weren't problems they were just they weren't problems at all and this has made me realize how grateful I am for my life and I'm so, I say this all the time, I, I know I'm living with stage four cancer, but I love my life. I wouldn't change, other than my health, I wouldn't change anything about my life. I love everything about 
my life and I think it's taken me a long time to get to this place and when I was younger I wish I could go and tell myself that you don't need to worry about things, you don't need to worry about X, Y and Z. Um, I put a lot of pressure um, and I now live for me, I don't live for anyone else, I genuinely live for me and I was such a people pleaser, such a people pleaser and that's not who I am anymore and I'm glad that's not who I am because I'm so much happier and um, I'm, I'm me, I'm 100% me now and I'm grateful for being here today because chemotherapy before and my surgery and then lung surgery I feel like I've been given so many chances you know with stage 4 cancer there's people always ask me how long do you have and those kind of questions I just don't reply back to because I'm not going to follow the statistics I'm not life for everyone is we don't know when how long anyone has right so whether it's five months, five years, 50 years, I don't think that's a question you should be asking someone with cancer. Like, how long did the doctor say? I feel, whenever I get those questions, I just, I think, how can you ask someone that question? It's crazy, because I would never ask someone, how long do you, do you think you have on earth? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I think, you know, some people just, it's fine to ask that question, of course, and some people are okay to answer that question, but only God knows, right, whether that's kind of what I think. So, sorry, I've just gone on and on and on. This is exactly what happens. This is why I never get through any of the questions because I stick with one and then I just go on and on and on. How are you liking your new haircut? I'm actually, do you know what it is, right? Matt, if you watch my last video, if you watch the ending of Matt's reaction, I keep replaying it because it melts my heart. He just makes me feel incredible. He always, always just, he just gives me a boost in confidence and he loves my hair and he's been saying how much he loves my hair and he just, always makes me feel so secure and also your comments made me really feel confident in this hairstyle so it is getting used to it because i'm so used to having long hair if you've been watching my videos for 10 years i don't know if you've been watching my videos for a long time you know i've always had long hair so it's just getting used to this and i like how it looks really healthy and full um so that's good, but again, this experience has made me realize that hair will come again, you know? I am gonna most likely lose a lot of this thickness, but um, that's fine, it'll come back. Oh, someone said, no question, just want you to know you make my heart happy with how positive you are. Have your friendships changed since being diagnosed with cancer? So, um, yes, yes, there's, you, you just know who your real ones are when you go through a crazy time or a good time or you just, um, you know who's there for you. I'm happy with my group of friends and I'm so grateful for each one of them. They're incredible, incredible, incredible. There's times where I completely shut off, where I don't want to talk to anyone and I just don't reply back to messages or I get into a little bit of a... Whenever something bad happens at the hospital or with the doctors, I, I just close off and I don't want to talk to anyone. And for me, I know it's so bad of me to do that, to kind of shut off but I always feel there's times where I just, I can't talk to anyone, I just wanna stay in bed. Um, but then my friends, they will always reach out and they know how I am, so they'll say, you don't need to reply, but I'm thinking of you, I love you, or, you know, and just a small thing like that. And um, yeah, love, 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 love my friends. What would you tell someone that wants to continue school but is scared to fail? Just do it, you've got nothing to lose. 
Um, don't be scared of failing. Don't put that out there. Just go. You will never know. If you don't try, you just don't know. So give it your all. That's all you can do. The worst thing to do is look back and think, oh, I wish I carried on school. If you love studying and if you're excited about the course that you're going to do, just do it because you never want to look back and think, what if? And give it your 100% and then you know, right, I've given it 100% and this is the maximum I could have done. And um, get yourself a bullet journal, get yourself one of these and write a little timetable. Make it realistic as well. Don't put too much in every single day and also have a balance. Make sure you're studying but also living life too. Go and see your friends for a cup of tea, break up revision times and it's short term, so whatever you're studying, it's short term. My mum used to always say this to me. Sometimes I would really struggle and I'd say, I don't think I can do it. And she'll always say, Tiffany, it's short term. Just get it done and then you're finished. And then it's true. It's really, in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a short time in your life. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling very calm, very mindful <laughs> very demure no honestly i'm feeling very happy and just very i'm just taking each day my heart feels really calm today you know reading has really been helping me so um it's nice to read books like this because you're transported into another world and i know that sounds really cheesy but it's honestly the truth so um <laughs> I would love to do a book club club properly where we can all come together and talk about the book that we've read. How do I do that? How do I set that up? Please, if you know, let me know. If we can, a couple of us get together. How does it work? Do we have to organize like a Teams meeting? Someone help me because I would love to sit and talk about books all day. So if anyone has any ideas on how I can organize that for for us that would be unreal. Tiffany what do you prefer tea or coffee? I would say if I had to pick one would be tea. It would be tea. Are you excited for Christmas? <laughs> of course I'm excited for Christmas. I feel I've, I've been thinking about Christmas. I think about Christmas quite a lot especially when it starts to when it rains, I want to say in September, beginning of September, I will talk about Christmas and I will, I think this year in August, I made my cousins and us, all of us, we watched The Grinch and that was at the end of August. I made the room all nice and cosy and so yeah, I, I think about Christmas a lot. Um, it's funny because Matt and I, we were talking about this, you know, when you go check out houses, you know, if you look on right move, there's houses and you, sometimes we do that. <laughs> we like looking at houses and things like that. And <laughs> I will always say to Matt, if there's a big window or a big entrance way, I will always say, Matt, imagine a Christmas tree there. So Christmas is always on my mind. <laughs> Even when I went to see my cousin, so she got a new place and I went to visit her, Immediately I said to her, oh my goodness, this is exactly where you need to put your Christmas tree. <laughs> How, oh, this question, how do I know the chemo will work? Um, I don't think, I don't know, <laughs> you know, you just have to go with trusting the process. And if the chemo, my biggest fear is, I'll say it. The biggest fear is if they said, the doctor said there's no treatment for you or there's nothing we can do for you. That is scary, the thought of that. But I have to do chemo and then we'll do a scan after 12 weeks. And only after that, we know what's going on with the cancer and we will know what's happening. But I'm praying the best case scenario would be the cancer disappears, <laughs> but I, I have zero expectations. We just have to go with the flow and just hope for the best and pray. And 
I don't think it's going to just be chemo. I think there's also going to be another plan after chemo. There might be more chemo, there might be radiotherapy, there might also be ablation, surgery. So there's a lot of conversations happening, but we won't know till the 12 weeks is up. So um, we just gotta take it as it comes. Your favorite thing about Matt? Oh my goodness. I can't just say one thing. I, <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> I read a lot of books and I watch a lot of cheesy movies and I'm... Matt has given me a love like that. You know, I have never ever, I didn't even know love like that existed, you know. And my favourite thing about him is him. I can't pick one favourite thing about him. Um, do you know when people say you get that cosy feeling in your heart and your heart feels full and that's kind of how I feel about him. He gives me this comfort and that's my favourite thing about him is that he makes me feel Okay, I'm gonna end the video there because I'm just all in my fills at the moment. <laughs> what I'll do is I'm gonna save all these questions because I'm gonna do another one next week. What time is it? Yeah. I'm going to edit this so that I can get this video up for you for tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. I have so many questions that I'm gonna keep and screenshot and write down in my bullet journal. And if you like this, if you like listening to me go on and on and on and on, let me know and then I can do it again next Tuesday or would you rather me not do it so soon? Would you like to see this next Tuesday as well? I could film again next week. I think it's good for me to sit and talk and I feel very, I feel happy to do this because it means that I get to talk to you because right now it's a Monday and everyone is at work, everyone is busy, no one is free and this is good because it feels like I'm having a conversation and I'm answering your questions and I guess if there's anything that you want me to answer, please leave them down in the comment section in this video because I know not everyone follows me on Instagram. I feel like I got a little bit smooshy at the end. <laughs> smooshy and cheesy. I will see you all on Thursday for another video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join my Loving Tiffany Things family. I feel like we're growing every single day and it's crazy. I can't believe how many of you have joined me on this journey. Um, just wanna say thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. My book club page is Tiffany Thinks Book Club on Instagram. I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot and I really hope you're living your best life and just being happy. I just want you to be super happy. Okay, bye.